Good morning, everyone. My name is Dee Roussel, also known as Deja, and it is time for my monthly reset. I am so behind on a lot of things, but definitely getting reset for the month is really behind. I mean, I guess not super behind because it's only March 2nd, and I usually like to prepare before the month starts, but I just really could not find the time with my little weekend getaway. Always coming back is a struggle for me to get readjusted to just getting into the daily routines again. It has definitely been hard to find the time or really just to make the time to just reset for the month. So I have a list of things that I really want to do. The first, I really need to update my own book listing and just like what I read and what I didn't read. I didn't read much of my own books, but I also started a NetGalley account in January and I realized that as I keep acquiring those books, those are technically on my Kindle as well. So I think I need to make a new tab of NetGalley arcs and also just keeping track of when I need to have the reviews by because I think even one of them like I'm behind on that one as well so I need to keep track of that I also just want to do a little project it's not really a project I just need to do it um but I need to just shred papers like I literally have just been looking at this pile of papers sitting on my floor next to the shredder that I just need to shred and I just need to go ahead and do it I also need to plan my calendar of events because I have a busy month in March I am doing March Madness writing sprints um, or productivity sprints and my days are Mondays at 6 30 Eastern Standard Time and so I'm hoping that that will actually be like the solidified writing time that I need because in February I didn't really write much at all I think I wrote two days out of the month like I will get more into just how the month went overall at the end of the video, but it wasn't a great month overall in terms of writing. I also need to go through my library books because I have a lot of library books checked out and I really need to keep up with like the due dates. And while they don't have fees anymore, like it can get overwhelming, especially because I know some people, they have the books requested. And so I'm just like, oh, but I really wanted to read this, but I'm not keeping track of when I get these books and like how fast I'm actually reading them and so I need to definitely get a hold of that. I also really just need to sit down and plan my content because I feel like in February like I had I want to say three or four videos and I was supposed to have a video every week and that just didn't happen because of so many things like I didn't have the mental energy at the beginning to really sit down and film and so then I was just trying to crush everything in at the end but then at the end I also had my trip and so then I'm just like you know I, it was a hectic month for me and so now I just need to replant my content for March and I also need to start like thinking ahead for the next quarter because I do plan my content by quarters and yeah, I have a few ideas of what I want to do, but I definitely need to just like start like listing it out. There's definitely a few other things that I need to do, but we'll actually see if I do them because they're kind of top priority, but not really like things I really want to do. So we'll see. We'll see if I do them. But for now, I want to go make a smoothie because I just feel like getting back from my trip, like I've just been eating junk food, just quick meals that I could make at home so I baked like a pizza like a frozen pizza and I was just eating a salad with that but then also just like leftovers from like the previous week and yeah I was like I really need to just replenish my body with like healthy fruits and vegetables instead of just pizza so yeah I will go make my smoothie and then I will go I don't know what I'm gonna do first but I'm gonna do something <music>
Finally done setting up for the new month. The paper project took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be because some of the papers I didn't have sorted and I felt like I needed to sort them and then I also just kept finding more papers and I don't know what it is about me and papers like they just seem to accumulate so much and I just don't understand but everything's all sorted and shredded now I just have a few piles that I need to go through one of them are just like writing and like just story ideas another one is just one that I have to put into a binder and then the last one is just like little tips and tricks or something with like the interview process which I'm going to be using since I'm actually currently looking for a job so I'm happy that I was able to pretty much get that completed my drawers look so much better now and I'm just happy to have the space next to my desk so much neater now I still need to clean off the surface again because there's just like a few things I think I have my like my planner on there but overall like I feel a little bit more organized so I feel good now let me get into just reflecting on February I have my notebook handy because I wrote down all of my stats and everything that I want to share in this so I will be looking down as I'm reading all of this information in terms of content planning I have five videos planned to go out two of them I already have filmed so this one that I'm currently filming and hopefully going to get out soon and then the black history month vlog that i want to put out and then i just have two more that i need to pre-film and then the monthly reset going into april so those are the videos that i'm hoping to share this month if i only do four i'll be happy with that as well but i'm really trying to stick to the content that I have planned and getting those out in a timely fashion. In terms of the books that I have read in the month of February, I actually ended up reading five books and that actually surprised me because I don't feel like I read five books. I guess I did though because on Storygraph it said that I did. One of them was a manga that I finished on the first day of the month and then the rest of them were novels and all of those books that I read besides the manga will be in my Black History Month vlog. I also DNF'd four books in February and I honestly don't even remember half of these books but I know one was like The Gatekeeper. I tried it because why did I try it? I think I was trying to do like fantasy romance again. This fantasy romance by Black authors is not going well so far, but I'm determined. I'm determined to find something, but I had The Gatekeeper and then there was one, The Smoke That Thunders, which was a Nat Galley arc. That one was like super disappointing and it was really just the writing that I just really could not get into. And then there was like a few others that I don't even remember actually picking up. I'm probably going to do a quarterly DNF wrap up because at this rate I'm going to be DNFing a lot of books. Out of the books that I read, I only read one of my own books and I guess maybe one and a half because I technically own the Smoke That Thunders since it's a Night Yelly arc that's on my Kindle. So I guess two books I read on my own TBR but like 
I don't know. I'm just going to say one. And that one book is actually one that I want to unhaul. But since I haven't actually unhauled it yet, um, my unhauled books for the month is zero. So now I just kind of want to reflect on just like the highs and lows of the previous month. So I will start with the lows because I don't really want to end with the lows. So my lows, I would say the beginning of February was just like a very rough time for me and I feel like it's just been in the air just like the month of February just has not been like the greatest month for um a lot of people that I have been watching and just like speaking to in real life like it just doesn't feel like it's been like the greatest month which is crazy because it's Black History Month and it was like a day longer so I feel like it should have been like way more hype and for me I feel like it just didn't feel like we were really celebrating black culture like even some of the events that i went to it kind of got just kind of depressing like i don't know like one of them was like a black self-care event like a black wellness event and the first part of it was like super cool they had like free massages and then you could get like strip lashes like put on you um they had like a yoga mat that you could do yoga um and then just like all these other prizes and stuff and that part was cool and then they got to like the spoken word part where it was really more for like people healing i feel like people just talking about like their traumatic experiences which i'm glad that that space was open for them but during black history month i don't think that that's not a message that i really want to hear so the other event that i went to because i did try to go to a lot more events and the second one that i went to was actually a one that i liked a little bit more it reminded me of some of the things that i went to in college and it was just like an open discussion just about where like the black community is right now just like um sharing all of these resources um and how to get more financially wealthy and um take care of yourself mentally physically just like all of these things and they're just kind of like debating with each other just like all of these things that um they feel like the community can be doing better and just um just all of these things like I really like having those open discussions and it really makes my brain like really work and it's also just very nice to see black people actually caring about the community and trying to share these resources so that one was definitely a nicer event <laughs> that I liked going to but again like it was also just talking about where are we currently at and how do we get better instead of like really celebrating us i know i was like trying to go with like my lows but like those aren't really lows like i'm happy that i attended those events but they just kind of felt very oppression focused and i don't feel like i got the joy of being black but then that also goes into one of my highs but let me just finish up with my lows the beginning of february was hard for me especially because there was a lot of things happening in terms of like changing things like changing dynamics in my household and stuff and there was also a incident that happened like the day of or the day before Black History Month started and I was just like I don't have the mental capacity to do this like I literally almost cut somebody out and I am the most chill person ever and I was just like I literally had to go in my work bathroom and I was crying for five minutes because that's how pissed I was and I'm not gonna go too much in depth about it because I feel like I'm like over it like I'm getting through it like I still go to work because I have to um, but I am actively seeking a new job, not because of that incident, but because of a lot of other things that I just feel like I'm ready to move on. Um, but yeah, like that definitely put me in a bad headspace and I'm just ready to move on. But my last low of the month was definitely my writing. I think I only wrote two days out of this entire month, like I said earlier in this video, and it was just not good like I could not get myself to get up early anymore um because that was really what was um helping me create that writing time was getting up super early because in the evenings I'm either like working out or I'm cooking or something and it's easy for it to fall off to the wayside and so I definitely want to make that time again in March to have my writing time in the morning because 
I just like starting my day with something that I love doing and I love being in my stories and right now I'm in the revision process and I actually really do like revisions because I start to see the story as like what I want it to be. And so yeah, that will lead me to my highs and just all the achievements and things that happened in the month of February. The first two are going to be about TV shows because they definitely helped me get through this like funk that I was in. And the first one is Abbott Elementary. I wasn't really interested in it at first because I'm not really into like sitcoms especially the, the ones like the office like i've never been interested in watching the office um and abbott elementary just really felt like it was going to give me that vibe but i started watching it and immediately like i couldn't stop watching it because it just i don't know what it is i think honestly I really do think it's because of Gregory. Whenever in like the first season he was doing like his little side looks when he was trying to just like get acclimated into the school and stuff and then like I'm even laughing now but like his looks were so funny to me and I think it's also because like I grew up watching Everybody Hates Chris and so seeing that actor as an adult now I just find so much joy in it. And so that was definitely one of my favorite things. Also, I've been watching Love is Blind with my husband and we always get so interested in it, especially my husband because he'll start like psychoanalyzing everybody. He's not a psychologist or anything, but he literally is just like always like guessing correctly on a lot of people. And I just find it purely entertaining. I find it more entertaining watching it with him um I started watching it before we even met and I was just watching it one day and then he started watching it with me and I just became even more entertained because honestly if I wasn't watching it with him I don't think that I would watch it anymore because these people are just low-key annoying I have maybe one or two people a season that I vibe with but even then no one like tops like Lauren and Cameron like that first season was like a B season like it actually felt like it was for a love connection and now these other people just don't feel like that um I will say for season six AD does give me the love connection vibes but I have mixed thoughts on Clay and I'll just leave it at that another high speaking of my husband it was our two-year anniversary so that was always nice to celebrate I mentioned that I had a weekend getaway and that was for my anniversary so it was always nice to just get away for the weekend even like have a longer weekend um just to be with my husband and just chill and the last thing that I did that is a high is I completed a certification program I am super excited that I did complete it because it's definitely a part of the career that I want to go into and I feel like doing this certification really honed in the skills that I definitely want to build more and that I feel are playing to my strengths um if you've done like the strengths finder kind of quiz like I feel like the certification that I did really plays on the strengths that I have already and I was just really happy to complete it because it took me a month to do it and I wasn't getting paid to do it or anything like it was literally just something that I really wanted to do and I really liked how it reframed things for my current job so yeah I was super proud that I completed that but that will wrap up everything for my February looking ahead I made a TBR which you probably saw in this video as well I made a TBR I don't really plan to follow it but those are all the books that I kind of want to be picking the books that I read from that list because there's just a few projects that I want to get ahead on and so one of them I need to read by Nat Galley Arcs there's a few that I'm behind on and then a few that are coming up and then I also have like book club obligations and then I also have just a few that well quite a few actually for the reddit fantasy book bingo I really want to get into that because I think I have like maybe 10 12 more prompts for that i have like 14 15 of them already filled out um, i had to go through all of the books that i read in the past like year or so 
just to figure out what would fit in the prompts and all of that and I was pleasantly surprised by how many I actually could have fit into the prompts already so I want to try to read more for those and then I want to catch up on like my buzzword reads that Kayla hosts um and then I'm also trying to just be better at finding books that I enjoy and reading books that I own too as well but I didn't get through all my library things I didn't even touch it because I was just like I'm not even gonna bother because I'm tired but that will definitely be something I need to go through eventually because I definitely need to read some of these library books so I can return them but yeah looking ahead into March 26 books on my pile of books that I could possibly read. Um, I also really want to focus on my writing. I have big goals for my writing and there's just like a few projects that I really want to work on this year and so I really want to finish revising this one. I don't really think that I'm going to finish revising it in March unless I like super push myself and I don't want it to be like super stressful especially because there's a lot of other things in my life that are super stressful so I literally just want to get back into that habit of writing for the month of March I'm going to do that I'm going to be doing writing sprints on Mondays at 6 30 Eastern Standard Time so I'm really hoping that at the very least I will have Mondays that will be my consistent writing days and then I also have a beta reading thing that I signed up to do so it will definitely be a busy month for me but I'm hoping that with the sun coming back out longer and just the warmer weather I'm hoping that it'll give me that energy that I really want and need but yeah that will wrap up this video let me know how your february went i definitely love to know was it like as bad as i felt like mine was or was it just like the most amazing month for you but if you don't want to comment on how your month was you could just leave like a flower emoji or something since we're moving into the spring season but i thank all of you for watching this video and i will catch you later bye